Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. My oh my, it's a beautiful day the Lord has provided here in Pennsylvania, Zone 6. What a wonderful time of the year to be out in the garden during the spring season. You know, the birds are chirping, and flowers are blooming, and the, everything's just starting to grow and, and renew itself. And, you know, spring is a time of rebirth. Well, anyhow, today I wanted to share with you six quick tips on how to grow zucchini in your garden. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. I hope this aerial view of my garden gives you some ideas for your garden. Well, zucchini certainly is one of those interesting vegetables to grow out in your garden. I mean, those things can get pretty big, you know. But, you know, my wife and I really do enjoy growing zucchini out in the garden. You know, it's, it's amazing the harvest you can get from a couple different plants, you know, or, or seedlings. But anyhow, I have two of my seed packs here. One is a zucchini black beauty. It's an heirloom variety that I use. I grow that in my garden. And then the other is a zucchini dark. And so what I wanted to do was just share some quick tips with you on how to grow zucchini in your garden. And one thing we have to realize is that zucchini doesn't tolerate the cold. You know, zucchini likes warm feet. And so you really want to make sure that the soil is nice and warm, preferably at least above 60, 65 degrees. And what you can do is, if you have a, a meat thermometer in your kitchen, you can use that in, out in your garden to test the soil temperatures. So you would want to look when your last frost date is in your area and then maybe wait about one week after that, just to be on the safe side. So tip number two would be, zucchini likes a good six to eight hours of sunlight. You need to remember that anything with a root or a fruit likes six to eight hours of sunlight. Any of your leafy greens, you know, you can get away with four to six hours of sunlight. So it's really important to go out in your garden and see how much sunlight you have in certain areas because, you know, like tomatoes, peppers, melons, zucchini, potatoes, carrots, again, those are something to bear a root or a fruit. And so you do want to make sure that they have a good six to eight hours of sunlight wherever you're planting them. So tip number three would be zucchini likes a good, rich, fertile, healthy soil. Now here in my gardens I use a composted leaf mulch that I mend with topsoil and I have it amended or blended in with topsoil because topsoil adds additional minerals to, to the soils. We always want to focus on our soil. If we make our soil nice and healthy we're going to have large healthy plants that are going to produce a nice harvest. So you may even have to amend your existing soil with some compost or some peat moss or leaf mulch just to bring up the nutrient level in your soil because zucchinis are definitely a heavy feeding plant. So tip number four in growing zucchini in your garden would be to make sure you leave enough space. You know, zucchinis plants can get pretty big, you know, so you want to make sure you plant your seedlings or transplants or if you direct sow the seeds out in your garden. Make sure you leave about three or four feet in, inside your area where you're growing your plants because they can get pretty, pretty wide. And you want to make sure you have enough air circulation around the plants in your garden. Tip number five would be to plant your zucchini in succession. 
In other words, say in May, May after your last frost date, you plant a couple transplants out in your garden. And then I would wait maybe another month and plant some more, or you could also direct sow some zucchini out in your garden. You know, that soil, you know, once the soil hit, you know, in June and July, you know, certainly that soil is going to be nice and warm. Now I always overplant my zucchini because sometimes I get that squash vine borer that just destroys your plants and so I always encourage gardeners to grow extra zucchini in your in your garden. Zucchini are also fast growers and so they'll come to maturity anywhere from 50 to 60 days. And so you could plant zucchini out in your garden two to three times per season. You can also plant zucchini in containers. You've seen those half of a whiskey barrel in some of your home centers or garden centers. They make a great uh, container to grow zucchini in. I also did a video showing how you can build an indestructible raised garden bed out of a plastic 55 gallon uh, drum. And so they work great for growing your zucchini in because you want something that's close to like two foot in diameter, maybe. 12 foot, 12 inches deep, you know, to allow plenty of room for those roots to, to grow. Tip number six would be make sure you give your zucchini plenty of water. Like if you don't get any rain for the week, you want to make sure you deep water your zucchini. I would give it at least one inch of water. You know, you could always dig in around your plant a couple inches into the soil, see if your soil's moist or not. If it's obviously dry, you want to give it a little bit of water, but most of your vegetables in your garden, you want to deep water your plants, so it encourages the roots to go deep into the soil, because the deeper they go into the soil and the further they reach out, they're going to receive more nutrients, resulting in a healthier, larger plant that produces a lot of vegetables, which is something we all want out in the garden. So zucchini is a summer squash. You know, you also have your winter squash, like your your butternut squash that I grow a lot of that. It's a Waltham butternut squash. That's one of my favorite winter squashes to grow out in the garden. But, you know, the summer squash, my wife and I just love them. I don't, you know, we, we sometimes wait till the zucchini get nice and big and then we cut them in half and then scoop the insides out and put them in a frying pan. We add tomatoes and onions. You could add some breadcrumbs in there if you wanted or at least coat the top with breadcrumbs, but you put all that together in a frying pan and then you, once you scoop out the zucchini, obviously you're putting that into the pan also. And then you put it back into the boat and then you can bake it for 350, at 350 for like an hour. And so that's one way that we enjoy zucchini is by making a zucchini boat. I also take zucchini and just slice it. I get a, a casserole dish, fairly good size. And so I, I put about a half inch of dry rice in the bottom, and then I just layer zucchini, tomatoes, and onions, and also some of your basil that I get from the garden. And then I wrap that in foil and bake it at least 350, maybe 400 degrees for a good hour, because you really want all that to, to really cook really well underneath that foil. But anyhow, that's a just a delicious casserole dish, and that rice just really adds a nice extra flavor to the zucchini. Well, I hope these six quick tips on how to grow zucchini or summer squash in your garden was helpful for you. And, you know, my hope here in Plant Smart Living is to inspire people, to educate people, and to teach them how simple gardening can really be. Gardening connects us with our very roots, you know, the earth itself. And it's just a blessing to be able to participate in the miracle of growth. You know, you take a little teeny tiny seed and, you know, it's actually a living embryo, but it's in its dormant stage. So it needs to be planted in the soil and needs to receive water and sunlight. But, you know, as gardeners, we get to participate and nurture these plants and until maturity. And it's just amazing that the amount of harvest that we can get from one teeny tiny seed. And, you know, obviously gardening's rewarding and it's therapeutic and to be out in the garden working. Well, anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit us at Plant Smart Living 
gardenerhealth.com and there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim and restore your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today and a bountiful garden season. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.